Now your weather forecast with meteorologist Jasmine Lomax. Good morning and happy Tuesday. We unfortunately are off to a little bit of a wet start to the morning. We're seeing some light rain move across portions of Baton Rouge and in some of the surrounding parishes as well. Earlier in the day, we had some heavy rain and some storms as well. Those have moved a little bit farther to the east, and east of I-55 is where we find some areas of heavy rain, along with the flash flood warning in place until 945 this morning. Of course, if you come into any areas with flooded roadways or some ponding, make sure not to drive through it. Notice that flash flood watch is generally for areas to the east of I-55. The box that you see, the green box, indicates an aerial flood advisory so that's in effect for some areas as well here though the rain is on the lighter side outside pretty gray and gloomy temperature sit at 73 with winds out of the southeast at around six miles per hour across south louisiana temperatures are in the low to upper 70s 73 in kentwood 72 right now in new roads 77 in gonzalez and then new orleans sitting at 78 at this time as we continue throughout the day we're not looking at much of a warm-up temperatures are rising into the mid 80s and then we drop into the low 70s overnight but notice that rain chance that's going to be the main thing keeping us from getting much warmer throughout the day however we're going to be looking at a warming trend 88 tomorrow 90 on thursday and notice our rain chances start to drop by the weekend we are looking at mostly dry conditions and highs back in the 90s but until then we've got some rainy days to deal with Around 12 p.m., we're still talking scattered showers and storms as you head out to get lunch. And then on your commute home, you still could be dodging a few pockets of heavy rain, but things become pretty spotty after that. Overnight, there could be a couple of passing showers and storms and maybe somewhat roadways once again on your commute to work. But by the time you get into the afternoon, things are going to be pretty spotty. And same thing around the evening. Now, there still could be some brief downpours, but at this time, it looks like we are in for a drier pattern as we head into the overnight hours and then into Thursday morning. However, we keep that same pattern with afternoon showers and storms by Thursday. So over the next seven days, rain chances are going to decline. We're talking scattered showers on Friday and then over the weekend and then into Monday. Only looking at isolated showers and storms, so we're not expecting a washout, but there could be a hit or miss shower. In terms of rainfall totals, we're looking at less than an inch and a quarter, but since there is that possibility for heavy rain every day, these numbers could easily increase. Highs today are rising into the mid-80s, well below average for this time of year, and then lows dropping into the low 70s. As we go forward, expect a nice warming trend. We're rising into the mid or low 90s by the weekend, and then we're also talking about a mostly dry pattern. So a little bit of good news for those who have been waiting for the summer-like weather to return, along with the drier pattern. Back to you.